ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله ان الرجل لا يلقى الرجل يوم القيامه فيساله هل شربت فيقول نعم والله فيقول لكني لم اشرب وعطشاه the man the day of judgment will meet another person he says ya fulan hal sharib o stranger o man did you drink what is he talking about you need to drink brother habib go drink what is he talking about he's talking about have you had a drink from the pool of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the pool that special people get to drink from it and if you drink from it you never be thirsty again sheikh yusuf is going to say so you will not drink water again you drink water you drink coke and you drink pepsi and you drink everything you want but it's not because you're thirsty it's because it's fun that's what jannah is jannah you eat and drink because it is fun not because you need it you like that right how many times you feel like you want to keep eating and eating and eating non stop but you can't get full jannah you don't get full so فيقول نعم yes i did drink from the pool so that man who was asking he would say as for me i did not i am so thirsty there are two pools for prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam only intelligent people will answer the question one in this life and one in the hereafter i already told you the hereafter who knows his pool in this life zamza what do you think sheikh yusuf say no thank you her five so thing who if you don't hear you expect me to hear her so what did she say kalfa no kalfa is there yalla ya shabab Ahmadullah, you're from Kansas for nothing? Bill Clinton is there, right? He didn't help you on any information like that? Huh? Ail? You're getting closer. Yalla! Shu? Sanna! Sunnah. Depending on following the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you drink or you don't drink, or how much you drink. Anyone who does not drink from the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam until he was about to throw up, you know what? Hatta yataballa. Did you know that Zamzam water? You're supposed to drink it as a cure. and you keep drinking until you get the feeling like you're going to throw up you don't throw up but you get the feeling too that's called tadalluq so you keep following the sunnah until you feel like when you drinking so much that you're about it's like saying you are over full of sunnah yeah and you are adhering so closely to the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's command and then when you go there you enjoy it shadia is going to say but what's so special about it what a good question mashallah shadia how did you think questions like that the day of judgment you see the ceiling closer than that is the sun closer than that above your head I know science people are going. You're gonna nail it. It's gonna kill you. No, it 
because it, man, it does melt and it doesn't kill you. Your body is made so powerful, so strong, that you will sweat the same way now, as if the sun far away, but you receive the same amount of heat, and you sweat so much until your sweat is saturated in earth and start rising. Earth cannot take your sweat anymore, oversaturated, and it start rising according to your sins. Some to the heel, some to the knee, some to the hip, some to the shoulders, and some to here, here we go. Especially those who don't know how to swim good. Now you're laughing, that's not a joke or anything. That's your sweat. I know you're gonna, the first thing that comes to your mind is what? Disgusting, right? As if you're gonna worry about disgusting over there. You will be so, so thirsty. And you are in desperate need for any water. And the only water available there is the pool of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And if someone comes and tells you, pray the Buhr Salah, and you go, oh, I don't have to do that. Well, and he doesn't have to give you a drink either. Then deal with yourself and deal with the sun and go like that. You see how sometimes we arrogantly do things that we know we're desperately in need for. And when the time comes, you say, I wish. I wish, as the Prophet ﷺ said, all of you are going to Jannah, except those who don't want to go to Jannah. And the companion said, who doesn't want to go to Jannah? He said, it's simple. If you follow me, you go to Jannah. If you don't, you don't. And the same thing, it's simple. If you want to do the sunnah here, you get the drink there. If you don't, that means you don't want to drink. Raise your hand if you don't want to drink. Well, come the, 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 the drinking from, uh, you should see the beauty of it, and you should see the taste of it. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu when he describes his pool, go ahead and check it out. The description of the pool of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the day of judgment. You're gonna be so attached to it, and so loving to have from it, especially in the bad need that you are need for. So. When someone comes and tells you pray the sunnah, don't start looking cute. It's not just as it's going to fix your fault and it's going to prepare you for the fault and it's going to give you more hasanat. That's on top of that, you get to drink. So make sure you die in the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu in this life and you will be enjoying the water, the day of judgment when people are in desperate need for it. Someone comes and says, hey, did you drink? What do you say? Alhamdulillah. Yes, I drank. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu Allah ilaha ilaha. Astaghfirullah ilaha. Assalamu alaikum.